let's get started with HTML. If you guys are starters out there, let me tell you, I am also a starter. I have just started learning HTML recently. It has not been quite a long time. I've used several sources on the internet as well as a few books to improve my HTML skills. I first learned it when I was in school back in fifth grade, but now I am trying to make myself more comfortable with HTML, several different tags and so on. So if you are a starter, you're going to find these tutorials very helpful, very friendly because I speak from a starter's point of view. But those who are watching this, if you guys are experts into it, um, please be patient. I am sorry if you find it very dull and boring initially, but please be patient, stay tuned, keep up with it. Eventually it will get exciting and it will get more fun. Okay, so to start up, let's straight away get our hands dirty with some HTML code. So basically, we'll be writing some actual HTML code and with the help of HTML code, we'll be learning how to format your pages, how to add links to your pages, how to add images to your pages and so on. Now every HTML page um, starts with an HTML tag which you see like this. So without an HTML tag, HTML page doesn't start. So to actually start an HTML tag, we open an angular bracket and then put HTML and then close an angular bracket. Now every tag for the time being that we'll be looking at, we'll also have a closing tag which will look similar to it except that it will have a slash just before HTML or just before the tag name. So this is our this is our HTML page. Everything that goes into our web page. I'm sorry, my phone. Okay, so everything that goes into our page will be between these HTML tags. Now, whatever I type, for example, I just typed "Welcome to HTML Fundamentals." You can see the live over here. Now. Say for example, I want to create paragraphs on my web page. I can do that using p tag. So a p tag makes different paragraphs. Now, if I create another paragraph over here, okay. By the way, you close it with a slash p. Now I do. How are you? And then leave slash p. Okay. Now, if I didn't have these p tags, it won't show a space like this. So there's a blind break, an empty line between these two lines, sentences. So say for example, if I remove the p tag, and remove the p tag over here as well. So you can notice it has gone into same line, although I did leave a line over here. I did press an enter over here to come into different line. No matter how many enters I press, it still goes in the same line. So to actually break a line, I am trying to start it as a new paragraph. For new paragraph, I have to keep this as a paragraph and close the paragraph. And again, keep this as a paragraph and close the paragraph. So this will ensure that different paragraphs go in different lines. There's a line break, there's an empty line between two paragraphs and so on. So all in all, do practice with this guys. Go on creating several paragraphs. Just type whatever you want to. You can type paragraphs with multiple lines. So if you want, I can demonstrate how it goes. So over here I type welcome and then I'm keeping the p tag open. Until and unless HTML, the browser sees slash p, the p tag will remain open. So whatever I type in across several lines, it will go in the same paragraph. So I can write welcome several times. Okay, so you can see it has all come in one paragraph. Now say for example, if after first welcome, I end this paragraph by putting a slash p over here, it automatically jumps to the next paragraph. So that is about paragraph. Stay tuned, we are coming up with more fun. Thanks for watching.